Welcome back everyone to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in today's episode we will be talking about LODs. Uh, so I have a small setup so you can see I have some grass and at this point we have roughly 3.7, 3.5 FPS. So we're gonna be going from this and we're gonna go to this. So we have roughly 70, 60, 70 FPS. So what I have is just a landscape, it's full of grass, I can zoom in a little bit but this is going to cause some major lags for my system. So you can see here is the grass, there is 3, uh, 300,000 units, you can see right here I painted them with the foliage tool and it's lagging quite badly. Uh, so first let's try to work on some LODs to lower the vertices count and the triangles counts. So let's go ahead and let's open up the model that I used for the grass. Here it is and let's let, let me show you how to add LODs. Uh, so the first thing, uh, usually I believe this thing is checked that it auto computes LOD distances. What I like to do is actually disable this so that I can change the screen size manually and that's basically uh, the distance at which uh, this specific LOD should be loaded. And we're gonna get to that. The first thing that we gotta do is in the LOD settings, we gotta up the uh, number of LODs. I prefer using three or four. For this video, I'm just gonna use three, but obviously it totally depends on your setup. Once we change this and apply the changes, now up here in the LOD speaker, we have our LODs available. So the zero one is the default that's displayed. And uh, if we change this to auto, then at the top left, you can see the LOD that is getting used. So you can see it, if I go close, it says zero. If I go back, it says two because it is swapping between those LODs. Now, what I'm gonna do is first, let's go to the LOD one. So this is gonna be the one, the first one that is going to get loaded uh, when we get further away from it. And let's say uh, we want it to change it, the mesh uh, and its uh, vertice count when we are somewhere around here. So we can check the current screen size at the top left and it says uh, point two six nine so I'm gonna change mine to be roughly like 2.5 so something like this and this is gonna be the distance when it's gonna change the LOD and to set this we want to go to our screen size for the LOD one and change this to two uh, 0.25 and then we can lower the percent triangles or we can change the vertices or any uh, I usually leave this at triangles and this works just good enough so for this I'm gonna change this maybe it's like 30 and click apply changes and we can see now we can actually zoom in while we have selected the LOD one we can zoom in and fully inspect our model uh, so it still looks very high detailed so let's maybe try this maybe like 20 instead because I'm going for obviously these are totally going to depend on your models uh, because some models can get distorted by using this method uh, obviously if you uh, reduce the amount a little bit it's not going to distort it that much but as you can see here I'm going from 100 down until 20 so this is reducing the vertice count a lot uh, so if we would go back to the LOD 0 you can see by default it has 765 triangles and in my LOD 1 I have reduced this to 153 so that's a huge difference now let's go to the LOD 2 and as you can see this one is bigger because it uses 25 percent so it has 192 and so we change that one to uh, screen size 2.5 so this would be roughly the distance where it changes the mesh and let's go a little bit further so like 0.1 so for the LOD2 screen size I'm gonna put this at 0.1 and I'm gonna reduce the count to let's try one let's see what does it does um, well it reduced them significantly we only have eight triangles and 24 vertices and let's try this let's see what happens obviously we will still need to adjust these values quite a bit but for now let's give it a go let's press play so you can see the FPS grew significantly now I'm getting nearly 30 FPS remember there is still no cool distancing so I can see super far away and also as you can see I reduced the far ones to one and it doesn't change a lot you can see the differences in the close ones but the ones that are further away, we can't really see a big major difference. Now, one more thing that we can do is actually reduce the LODs for the base as well. So right now, the 
full quality LOD uses this one. So we have 100%. And if we would change this to maybe like 80, so we would go from 765 to 610. And as you can see, there is no significant difference in this. So maybe let's try this to maybe like 60 even. There we go. So we still can't really see a big difference. But in the FPS, you can see we are going above 30 at this point already. So we have nearly 40 FPS. So let's try to adjust this even more. Let's go to back to our LOD one. So let's try this maybe like at 15 instead. There we go. Still no big major differences. Let's press play again. There we go. So no major changes because we just barely changed anything, but we are already hitting the forties. So that's good. That's really good. There we go. So maybe the far ones, we should maybe change this one to like 1.7, something like this. So it would change it a little bit quicker, perhaps. So let's try this, maybe even like 0.2 for this one. There we go. Okay, so we're now in a somewhat stable 40s. So now this is looking a lot better, I would say. So the grass, you can see it is loading very close to us. And obviously I have over exaggerated with the grass. There's a f in a few locations, there's many patches in the same location. And obviously you will have multiple different types of grasses, which is going to make your scene look a lot better. This is just a rough, rough example. And one more thing for the LODs that we can do is if we would open up the sections, this one right here, we can also change the material that we are using. So right now, all of my LODs are using the same material. But as you can see, this model right here comes with different LOD materials. So as long as we have selected those in the default material slots, we can go. So on the zero, we would select the regular material instance, the high quality one for the LOD one in the section, then we can change this to use LOD one material instead. So that's going to reduce uh, the quality a little bit. And then we can also change this for the LOD two to use the next LOD reduction material. So as you can see, the far one doesn't even move, which is exactly what we want, because we're not going to be able to see that far away. So it's quite pointless to have the animation for that grass. So now by doing that change, you can see now we are definitely in the 40s. Now we even get like 44 at some point. 45, you can see it, it, it is getting a lot, a lot better. So now that's basically as good as we can get it with this model, with these LODs. We can't go significantly higher than this, I believe. So what I'm going to do is actually for the LOD one, I'm going to make this value a little bit bigger. So this one could be at like 0.1 and then the LOD two could be at like 0.05 perhaps. So we're going to save that, go back to the auto and we're going to see. OK, so now we can see the changes happening a little bit further away. So now this is going to reduce the FPS again because now we can see the high LOD way closer to us. So that's roughly around here. Now let's try to increase our FPS a little bit more. And for that, what we want to do is actually apply the cool distancing. So if you would go to your foliage tool, select your foliage, that specific unit, you might have multiple, uh, obviously for every single one of them, you will have to probably use different values. So for this one, I'm going to scroll down a little bit till I find the here we go, instance settings, and we have the cool distance. So I'm going to place my max at let's say like uh, 1000 for now. And now if we would press play, you can see we can only see a few instances of grass and our FPS is significantly higher. Again, we're back into uh, 40s. I saw 50 for a sec. There we go. We have 40s, 50s. Uh, obviously, also remember my video card is a bit bad. So if you are, if your video card is uh, somewhat new, then you should get more FPS than I'm getting right now. Also, I'm recording as well. So that's another thing to keep in mind of. And also when you ship your game, when you package it, your FPS is also going to be a little bit higher than it is in the editor itself. So let's bump this up to 10,000 instead. That would be a better value. So there we go. Okay, so now we can see the grass a lot further. 
FPS didn't drop too significantly. We'll ba we're back into 30s. We can't. Oh, we did hit 40 a little bit. Uh, but well, this is getting a little bit better. One more thing we can do in at least with this specific foliage piece is. So let's look at the shadows. Do you see any shadows? Well, there's no shadows really. But for some reason, the engine thinks that there are some. Uh, so what you can do is, again, select your instance, foliage instance, scroll down, back where we had the cool distance, and cast shadow disabled. So now, if we press play again, and there we go. So, 50s, 50s, yeah, well, we can't even hit really 50s. We do hit 50s at some instances, but not a lot of them. So obviously, as you can see, this is not perfect, this is not great, but we came from 3 FPS up until nearly 50 FPS, so that's a huge difference. And now real quick, let's just try to create something more realistic when it comes to having the grass. So because at this point, uh, I have way too many instances in the world at all. And let's try to delete all of them. There we go. And let's make some more adjustments to the scaling property. So let's say I want something like from 0.2 up until 1. Uh, reduce the density to like 100 radius, maybe like 10. Let's paint some on. Let's have a closer look. See how it looks. Uh, not great. Not great at all. So let's change the density to... Uh, so this density right here will go to 1. Uh, then this, for this specific instance, the density, let's go to like 500 and let's add like a radius of 20. Okay, there we go. So that seems a bit better. Let's press play. And there we go. So now the grass is looking a lot better. Uh, so the cool distancing is still off. I need to have more instances in the world. So this is going to be laggy if you have like a huge brush size and you are painting a lot of a lot of instances at the same time. But now you can see we are hitting 80s in the FPS. The grass is getting loaded uh, after we reach a certain point. It gets higher and higher quality. If we look as close as possible, it's going to look amazing. If we look in the distance, well. There's barely any grass, but it's better than nothing. And this is how basically most of the games do. Uh, you have these cool distances. You will see that in the far distances, the trees are going to look terrible. Once you get close to them, they will look a lot better. Uh, probably this one can be bumped up to like four, maybe even five. So now you will see that. Yeah, this looks way, way, way better. So yeah, that's going to be basically it for the LODs tutorial. Uh, you should apply this to basically every single one of your models in the game that you have. Because obviously if you are far away, the human eye is not going to be able to see the big differences uh, in the quality. Uh, the further away it is, you might use some smaller textures. You might use uh, lower vertice counts and all that stuff. And also, yeah, for foliage and many other things, use the cool distancing so the object would get unloaded if you are too far away from it. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope this was helpful and useful. And yeah, see you in the next one.